Hey, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. This is my demo of the RJM Mastermind PBC or pedal board controller. So RJM is well known in the music industry for producing really terrific switching systems for guitar players. All of them have been, up to this point, rack mount based. And I myself used an RJM rack mount switcher on the road for a number of years. Now, the essential purpose for a unit like this is to serve as an overall control center for your entire guitar rig. So you'd plug all your effects, pedal effects, and rack effects into them. You'd also plug your amplifiers into them, your guitar, and a MIDI foot controller and they would serve to control all that stuff. So basically, as presets, you could store things like combinations of different effects, uh, whether your amp would be on the clean channel or the dirty channel, or maybe a being between two different amps. You could pick which amp you'd want to be on and store all that stuff uh, as a preset, hit one button, and recall it all. So it made it really, really easy when you use a switching system to change from, say, a clean sound with chorus and delay and reverb to a dirty fuzz guitar sound or something like that, all with one button push and without having a tap dance on multiple different uh, pedals. So um, basically, now RJM has packed all of that power of their best rack mount switching systems into the Mastermind PBC. They know guitar players uh, don't necessarily want to carry around big racks and things like that, and they want a lot of power and flexibility, but in a pedal board based system. So that's what the Mastermind PBC is all about. The Mastermind PBC is a really intuitive unit to use, and it's really relatively simple once you get into it, uh, but it does have a ton of great features. Uh, so in order to really get deep into those features, go online to the website that you see on your screen there and check it all out in detail. I'm going to touch on a few of the key capabilities and features that the unit has to offer right now, and then I want to get straight back uh, to some creativity in music. I want to show you mainly in this video why I'm such a big fan of switching systems for guitar and how something like the Mastermind PBC could fit into your guitar playing life how uh, to make your tone stronger and make your workflow slicker and just make your whole guitar playing universe that much better. The Mastermind PBC features 10 audio loops. They're arranged in groups. A group of four loops, a group of two loops, and another group of four loops. And there's insert points in between all those groups. This means no matter what your effects routing and configuration is, you're going to be able to sort it all out and control it with the Mastermind PBC. Let's say you want to run some pedals in front of your amp, and then you want to run maybe some more pedals or some rack effects in the effect loop of your amp. No problem. You can totally do that. The last four loops are also configurable either mono or stereo, in case you want to run a stereo guitar rig. And uh, they're also configurable series or parallel. There's a built-in mixer. So if you want to run parallel and run, let's say, some time-based effects in the effect loop of your amp, but you want to keep that parallel dry path running through to keep things real pristine and punchy, you can do that. The PBC features two outputs that can be used as left and right outs for a stereo rig, or you can use them as A and B outputs to ABY switch a mono signal between two different amplifiers. The B output features an isolation transformer to eliminate ground loop issues, and it also has a programmable phase switch in case you've got two amps that are out of phase with one another. The unit is all true bypass, but features three high quality buffers placed throughout the signal path. Now all these buffers are defeatable and switchable per preset, so that's an incredible feature. You'll be able to utilize your germanium pedals or pedals that are very sensitive to buffers with the PBC, and you're going to be able to strategically program the buffers on and off depending on whether or not those pedals are used in a patch. The LCD display is really big and really easy to read, which is terrific for a blind guy like me. The PBC also features a built-in tuner that comes on when you hit the mute switch. You saw me utilize it right at the beginning of the video. There's two quarter-inch TRS jacks that provide four function switches. These can be used to control channel switching and other features of amplifiers. You're seeing me utilize them in this video to control the channel switching on one of my older custom audio PT100 heads. There's multiple USB ports on the unit. This will allow you to connect a USB thumb drive for things like backup and firmware upgrades. And you can also connect to a PC or Mac. And this is going to let you get into the Mac and PC editor software for the Mastermind PVC, which allows for fast and comprehensive editing. So I want to talk just for a second about this pedal board I'm using in the video. Um, this pedal board actually isn't mine, it belongs to RJM. And they designed it and picked all the pedals and the layout and whatnot. And it was expertly built and wired by uh, my buddy Dave Friedman at Rack Systems. So I thought it would be fun to use this pedal board in this video and try and uh, get some music out of someone else's pedal board. There's a bunch of unfamiliar pedals on here I've never played through. Some of them I'm quite familiar with, but other ones I'm not. Uh, and yeah, it was a really fun challenge. Um, and uh, you know, it got, got me also to get inside this pedal board switcher and kind of learn it inside now, which was really nice. So one thing that this pedal board does have a lot in common with, with my uh, main touring and studio pedal board, is routing and the way that the signal chain flows in and out of the board. So I want to tell you a little bit about that now, because I think um, this is a really, really terrific way to wire up a pedal board. It makes for an extremely versatile setup and allows you to switch between different amplifiers and whatnot. So. Uh, getting into it here, um, the switcher has 10 loops on it, and as I was saying, there's insert points in between various groups of those loops. 
uh, which is a terrific thing. Now in the first five loops there's the 69 fuzz, the musket fuzz, uh, a retrosonic compressor, a koi overdrive, and a dover drive pedal. So that's loops one through five, uh, the way they're configured on this board. Now because of those insert points in between the groups of the loops, after loop five we're running out the switcher, out the side of the board on this jack right here, I'm coming out here and running into the input of my amp. So in other words, all the fuzzes and overdrives and the compressor are in front of the amp and then going to the amplifier input. This is my PT100 custom audio head. This is the prototype for the new Sur PT100 I'm using here today. Um, uh, coming out of the amplifier's effects send then, I'm returning back to the board into this jack right here. And at that point, uh, the signal goes back into the switcher via one of those insert points between the loops and it runs through loops 7 through 10. Now in loops 7 through 10 I've got all stereo pedals, all kind of time-based stuff. Uh, in loop uh, 7 there's the M5 from line 6. Uh, in loop 8 there's the Eventide H9. Loop 9 has the Strymon Timeline Delay and loop 10 has the Strymon Big Sky Reverb. So all that stuff is wired in stereo on this board. Uh, coming out of the Big Sky in stereo, back to the switcher and then coming out of the A and B outs of the switcher uh, then those terminate right here on the on the board on the side coming out of those outputs and running back into the effect return of the custom audio PT100 head and I'm also utilizing a, a Dave Friedman BE100 head up here for the second effect return and uh, I've got both those amps split hard left and right in stereo and that's what you're hearing in the mix uh, so really really cool way to run a stereo rig now the switcher is also wired up to uh, my amplifier as I said earlier and it's channel switching and performing those functions um, so let's say that you had a gig where maybe you couldn't bring two amps and you weren't able to run in stereo well the really cool thing about routing a pedal board like this is all you would need to do is run a jumper between that send after loops one and five I remember I said there's a send coming out the side of the board you could just run a short patch cable between that and that return that is currently um, coming back out of the send out of this amp and sending back to the pedal board and going into that return. If you just put a jumper cable in there, you're then going to be routing loops 1 through 5 straight into loops 7 through 10. And uh, when you then come out of the stereo outputs of the board, you could either plug into two amplifiers or you could run in mono if you wish and just plug into one amp. Now you've got all the pedals running in front. And you know, maybe you've got a rental amp like an AC30 or Deluxe Reverb or a Twin or something and you've got to put everything in front because there's no effect loop in an amp. Well, that's no problem. You just design some presets around that setup and away you go. So it's a really, really cool way to route a pedal board with the uh, sort of those patching jacks on the side here. And that's the way my personal pedal board is set up and I think it works great. Okay, so uh, I want to talk about some tones now. Let's get into those six sounds that I came up with that started off uh, the video with that, that track at the beginning. I want to show you how I saved all six tones as presets and how I can instantly recall them. And, uh, you know, the uh, Mastermind PVC just serves as the overall control center uh, for the entire guitar rig, doing all the pedal switching and uh, amp channel switching and all that good stuff. So this is tone number one, and this is the part that starts off the song at the beginning of the video. Okay, it's a really, really beautiful ambient kind of clean sound. Um, it's the uh, channel one of my PT100 amp, the clean channel, and then I'm using the compressor, which is in loop three. I'm going into the loops mode here on the RJM. This shows us what's happening in each individual loop. So I'm using the, the uh, retrosonic compressor and the time factor delay and the big sky reverb. So if I switch all the pedals off within the patch, real easy to do. what it sounds like. Turning them on one at a time, here's the compressor. Switching in the time factor. And last, the Big Sky Reverb. So for preset number two, this part is a, a rhythm guitar part um, that plays underneath the fuzzy solo uh, that's kind of like close to the beginning of the song. 
Um, so for this I utilized the Koi Overdrive, a really nice warm, sort of tough overdrive but not, uh, not too saturated. And I'm utilizing the Big Sky Reverb on the reflection setting for almost kind of like, it almost sounds like a slap delay but it's reverb. It's really cool, I like the sound a lot. So uh, this is the part. reverb just gives it a little bit of ambience and something extra special. Uh, so I uh, double track this and then hard panned it in the mix. So moving from sound number two to sound number three, this is a great time to illustrate how a loop switcher can really make your life easier and uh, just do a whole bunch of stuff all at once for you with just one button push. Um, so sound number two once again is the overdrive with the sort of slap reverb. <laughs> and a really cool tone. Moving to sound, sound number three. <laughs> A really, really cool fuzz guitar tone there with a long lo-fi delay coming out of the, uh, the timeline. I'm utilizing the uh, 69 pedal for fuzz, and then I've got a completely different reverb sound happening as well on the big sky. Uh, so, yeah, one button push and you can completely change everything and get into a, a totally different tone. And frankly, I'm addicted to that kind of quick switching. Uh, I love making presets and just having really cool guitar tones available on the fly. It's very effective when you can just hit the downbeat of a song and not be looking down at your feet and thinking about uh, what pedal have I got to hit next as you're trying to play, you know? So that's why I'm addicted to loop switching. I'll probably always be a, a loop switcher kind of guy. So underneath the guitar solos, I went back to sound number one and I played a clean rhythm part for this part. It sounds something like this. <laughs> Okay, and switching over to tone number four, uh, this is for the second half of the guitar solo. Uh, when things pick up a bit and get a little bit bigger, I use the musket fuzz uh, to get an extremely massive, huge sort of fuzz bed uh, guitar sound. And this is what this sounds like. This is tone number four. <laughs> Just really big, fat, ambient chords. Um, I'm also utilizing the Big Sky Reverb for this on a swell reverb setting. So I hit the chord and then the swell reverb comes in and it just gets kind of crazy, but I, I love this tone. <laughs> So I want to show you really quick in the context of this preset, um, I've got, as I was saying, the Big Sky Reverb on the swell setting. And I'm in loops mode here, so this shows me which uh, loops I've got active and what pedals I got working. Now you notice the musket fuzz is on. Switch it on and off real easy, and its light is blue. Now the light for the Big Sky Reverb is on and it's purple over here, and that indicates that that loop is on and it's running in parallel mode, okay? So I'm using the, uh, the uh, kill dry feature on the Big Sky Reverb, so I'm running a uh, parallel dry path through the loop and then just mixing in the reverb. So that's really cool. Now if I want to switch in into series mode, simply hold down the button, you'll see that light turn to blue. Which is a really cool swell reverb sound. Because I've got the, the big sky switched into kill dry mode, there's no dry signal going through anymore that I've got now that I've got this loop switched in series. Okay, that's also a super cool guitar sound. Um, so switching back into parallel mode, now you hear my dry signal come back in. And so those, uh, those modes, series and parallel mode, are easily storable per preset. You can pick uh, for each of these four loops when they come on, whether you want them to run in series parallel. Right now I've got the Eventide switched on and it's in series mode.
hold down the button, it's going to switch into parallel when it turns purple. So very easy to store that stuff per preset uh, in the state that you want it in. And moving over to tone number five, now this is the sound that I used for the first solo uh, towards the end of the tune. tone number five to tone number six, um, I wanted to kind of ratchet the solo up halfway through and take it up a notch, so I switched off the Dover drive uh, in preset number six, and I'm going over to channel three of my amp with its own internal boost on, and it just ups the gain, and it's a more searing kind of overdrive sound, so that sounded like this. <laughs> So I, I kept the uh, delay and reverb the same for that patch, but yeah, big difference uh, in between those two lead sounds. So right at the end of the guitar solo, I decided to turn on this huge sounding stereo flanger patch that I have happening on the Eventide H9. So I come out of the last lick. Okay, so really easy within a preset to just hit the loop switch. Now you can access each of the individual pe pedals on and off states. And I just hit the on switch for the eventide and got that big crazy stereo flange going. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video on the RJM PBC pedal board controller. Uh, I hope I was able to answer any questions you might have had about the unit and demystify it a little bit if you had uh, questions. And uh, I hope I was able to really clearly show how you can use it within a musical context uh, to create really cool guitar sounds and presets and then switch between tones really easy and effortlessly. Uh, so check it out further at the RJM website if you have more questions. And uh, please hit subscribe if you haven't. Come back to see me for some more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take it easy.